Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To help keep this podcast free for you, we're partnering with Stokes Seeds. The 2017 Gardening Guide catalogs are hitting mailboxes everywhere. Request your catalog today online at stokesseeds.com or view virtual catalogs online. This fully secure site makes it easy to order your free catalog or your seeds or gardening accessories. More than just a listing of vegetable and flower seeds, Stokes Seeds' website is a complete resource center with valuable information on starting seeds, planting, and harvesting. Plus, all the gardening accessories you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more from Stokes Seeds in the next few weeks. Right now, today's question. John from Delaware uh, wrote in this week, Can I prune a flowering crab this time of year, or should I wait until spring? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> well, there you go. John, Thanks, John. John, I hope you're paying attention. A uh, little jest there. You can prune a flowering crab anytime the wood is not bone frozen, as far as I'm concerned. Now, how to, how to explain this? The, they're, um, back to the basic principle. Don't remove more than one third of the total tissue at any one time. Uh, it's best by, well, by general pruning standards to cut back to a side branch to to reduce its size or hold it in a size range. It's best to cut back to a side branch going the direction you want subsequent growth to go. Uh, they, well, many of them will, will sucker pretty heavily inside. And if you open the canopy up too much and more sun hits the major branches inside, it'll, it'll throw a lot of water sprouts or suckers, which can be your nemesis if it gets going that way. So, uh, light canopy removal, uh, not removal, but thinning each year is the best bet. At the same time, I know of a couple of flowering crabs that were never trimmed and that being over a probably a 20 some year period. You were over and, at my house? <laughs> no, Mark. But I, I got three of them, I think, that you, have never been. You have three. Well, in any two year, three year period, we could get those thinned out, shaped up, and uh, looking pretty good. One, one of the trees that, oh, it probably was a darn good 20 years. I planted it for some people. And then many years later, they wanted to know what they could do with it. And my first impulse was cut it down. It was such a piece of junk. But it was a tree that we thinned out, uh, took out some major branches the first year and a little bit of, uh, we'll call it tip end control. The next year, we took out some more break major branches, thinned out the inside and made it into, uh, in the third season of pruning, a, a, a true bonsai looking tree, but at 20 feet high and 20 feet wide. Uh, it took us three years to do it right and not not hurt the tree physically uh, and physiologically, which we want to do with any tree. I don't care what its name is. You, you just don't trim them real hard at any one time. Uh, stay away from that theory that a short tree is a safer tree, especially in big trees. But in a flowering crab, trim now, if you well, any time that the weather's fit for a human to be out there, on through prior to growth in the early spring. Um, now, the next step would be whether you want to shorten it and decrease its width, etc. cetera. Uh, all of that would fit into quite exactly how you trim the tree. But um, any time now through prior to growth that is fit to be out is probably the best answer for you, John. And, and if you are by chance what I call reconditioning an older tree, uh, be gentle. Don't take out more than a third at a time or you will just definitely cause uh, or tend to cause this water sprout uh, advance and so on. That'll drive you nuts because I've seen flowering crabs that have maybe a thousand tips in them. I mean, I just they oh, just yeah. go nuts. It's like a crew cut when you get done. <laughs> and that's not what you want. Hey, thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, your 2017 Gardening Guide catalogs are available now. If you want one delivered to your home, go to stokeseeds.com. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Cultivating successful growers for generations.